Hello, I'm Pavel, a graduate student specialist in citation management at the University of Washington Libraries Research Commons. Let's say you're writing a paper and you've got it almost all done and you've got all your references here, you've written them out and you got your paper accepted to a journal. And now you need to change your references from whatever style you use, this is APA, um, to the style of your journal so that you can submit it. Um, if you've been writing your paper with a citation management software, like Zotero, uh, changing the citation style is as easy as coming over here to the top bar, clicking on the Zotero tab, and then clicking on Document Preferences. Then you have a list of docu uh, citation styles that you can choose from, or you can go to Manage Styles and um, click back on the pop-up, click on Cite, and get additional styles, and then you can search for the style you want. But if you didn't use Zotero, and you just wrote all your citations by hand, or used some software and copy and pasted it into your document, then the process is a little bit more complicated, and I'll walk you through that right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to zotero.org and download Zotero. I'll leave a link to this in the uh, uh, description, so you can uh, just go there from here. and you want to uh, go ahead and download um, Zotero. You can download the desktop application is really what you need, but you can also install the connector if you want to get sources easier. I have a video on in downloading and installing Zotero, so I'll also leave that in the description. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is um, go to anystyle.io. And any style, dot, any style is um, a website that you can use to paste in your um, references and then generate a file that software like Zotero can read and edit. So I'm going to go back to my document, uh, my paper, and I'm just going to drag and select all of my references. And then I'm going to hold Control and press the C key to copy all my references. And then go back to anystyle.io and paste them in here. And off the bat, you can see that it's found 22 references here uh, from what I pasted in. And that seems right. So I'm going to go ahead and click the parse button. And now you can see what it's d done is it's taken my references, which is just text here, and turns them into um, different uh, blocks that it then assigns a um, category. For example, it thinks these all fall into the author. The date is 2019. The title is Public Libraries as an Infrastructure for a su Sustainable Public Sphere. The journal is the Journal of Documentation, Volume and Issue, Pages, and URL. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, it looks like this citation it got correctly. And so what I'm going to do is just go down uh, my list of citations and make sure that it's done everything correct. Uh, for example, this source right here, I can see an error already. Uh, the title of this one is two LGBTQ books pulled from El Elmbrook school schools, but you can see it thinks the two is part of the date. And so if I go back to my paper here you, and I d check that source, you can see that yes, the two actually is supposed to be two LGBTQ books pu pulled from Elmbrook schools. Um, yeah. And so if I go back over here, what I can do to fix this is I can click on the two and I can click assign label. And I'm just going to say that's part of the title actually and choose title. And so now you can see it's moved the two to the title. Um, over here, it says Brookfield and Wisconsin are sep separated and patch over here. I think Brookfield, Wisconsin patch is the name of the publisher. Uh, not a location, so I'm going to, I could either move this to the location field, but I think I'm just going to um, move this to the publisher field for now. And so, yeah, basically what you want to do is you want to go through your sources and just make sure that all of these um, uh, uh, blocks are in the right categories. Next, you can go down here to save once you're finished. Um, and then uh, you can choose to train the parser with your changes. Yeah, why not? And then I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, new file that it makes from all these edits. So I'm going to choose Bibtex. And 
this uh, saving thing will pop up and I will just I'm just go, go, gonna go ahead and save that file on my desktop. Uh, once it's saved in your desktop, uh, you can go back to Zotero. And what you can do is I'm going to make a new co a new collection and I'm just going to title it whatever the title of my paper is. I'm just gonna call this research paper. Then I can go over here to this, um, I can go to file in the top left and I can choose import. And then this pop-up will appear. Where do you wanna import from? And I do wanna import a bibtex file. So I'm just going to click next. And then I'm going to find any style and I'm going to click open. And then uh, I can place them into a new collection um, and I can copy files. There are no files. Um, sure, I'll place them into a new collection. And it says 22 items were imported. Perfect. And so you can see, um, because it made it a new co collection, it just put it over here. I'm just going to right click and rename it um, my research paper. And so that now I have this my research paper folder. This other folder I made, I can just delete it. Uh, I could have instead just moved all of these to the new folder, but I don't need to spend time doing that. Anyway, now all of these are in Zotero. And if you click, you can look at the right hand side and you can see that, oh, it's actually a. Uh, got all the metadata. This is perfect, exactly what we want. And now, when it has all this metadata, what we can do is go back to our paper, and um, we can go ahead and um, start changing our in-text citations. So to change your in-text citations, you I start from the top of the paper, and then just find one of them. Here, here's an example. Audinson et al. 2019. So I'm going to delete this in text citation because this is a uh, APA in text citation and I want a uh, new citation for whatever journal I'm applying to. So I'm going to keep my cursor over there and I'm going to go to Zotero and I'm going to click add edit citation. And then this is going to pop up and I'm going to find I'm just going to search for Audinson et al. That's the one. And I can click on it and press enter. And now it's been added to my paper, but this is still the API A citation. So what I want to do is click on Zotero and go to document preferences. And then I want to manage my styles. And I have this list of styles. I can click um, get additional styles and I can just search for a style, for example, Oxford, uh, H-U-M-S-O-C, let's try that one. And so I can click it and it's over here. And then I click OK. And then I ch go back to my document preferences and I change it to H-U-M-S-O-C and I press OK. And so now you can see it looks like it changed the citation style slightly, uh, but that's what we want. Uh, it looks like in this citation style, you don't use a comma over here. So next, I'm going to do the the same one over here, same thing over here, and pretty much just go through all my um, uh, citations and just add them using Zotero. And I'll only do three for now. this one. And, uh, but once you've done your entire paper, then you can go back to your references. And I'm going to delete these references because I don't need them anymore. And I can go to Zotero and choose add slash edit bibliography. And then it'll paste in the correct bibliography for, um, uh, the citation style. 
it looks a little weird here because I think the uh, the formatting for um, this kind of paper is different. But if you wanted to, you could like, if if this was incorrect, you could drag the margins out like this from the top of Word to fix it, and do whatever spacing edits you need over here. But only do this. Uh, once you've finished adding your in-text citations, because Zotero will try to put it back. But that's just at the end of your paper, if this style is incorrect. But uh, I think it's right. I don't know, I've never used it before. Uh, yeah. And if I, if I keep going on in my paper, right, and I, I find another source that I need, like Ives parentheses 2017, for example, I can go back to Zotero, add a citation, Ives 2017, and then what I can do here is I can go to Zotero and edit the citation. I only had the date, so I'm going to omit the author from this one because I put Ives over here. And then if I go down to my uh, references page, you can see it's added the next citation automatically. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, please uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps uh, anyone who needs to change their citation uh, style from uh, one to another. Thank you. Bye.